Here's a simple question. What can the observed path of the sun tell us about the shape of the Earth? Now, flat earthers will tell you that the sun sets due to perspective. But what they've never really thought about is what path does the sun take at night to return to the east to rise again in the morning? And here is an example when I recently asked that question on a Discord channel. I can't see. It's dark. Well, that's really not a surprising answer because according to perspective, it clearly just goes away without any real thought about how it returns to the east. But a little later, he did reply, do I ponder where the sun goes at night? Yes. Can I know with any degree of certainty that my pondering is correct? No. The only difference is that I have the humility to say I don't know instead of like the two of you pretending to know all the answers. Now that reply did surprise me because anybody can go out and observe what the sun does during the course of the day. And from that they can make a logical conclusion of where that sun goes at night. And this is something that is testable and repeatable and an observation that anyone can make at any location. So let's see if we can answer that question by using this sunset that I found on the internet. Now I don't know what the location is, but we don't need to know that. So I've added a line to show the path of the setting sun. And now that it is set, can we figure out what path that sun is traveling on? Well, it should be quite obvious that the sun is not going to change direction at the horizon which means that the sun is going to continue on that same path below the horizon. Now we can ask another simple question to see if this works on a globe or a flat earth. So, where is the surface of the earth beyond the horizon? Well, on a globe we know that the earth's surface beyond the horizon curves down. So it makes logical sense that the sun can continue on that same path below the horizon. But where is the surface of the flat Earth beyond the horizon? Well, we know it doesn't curve down like it does on the globe. So on a flat Earth, the surface beyond the horizon would be merged into the horizon line due to perspective. Of course, if this was true, then how could the sun continue on the same path below the horizon? Because that means the sun would be traveling below the surface of the Earth. So do flat earthers think that the sun changes direction after sunset so it can go around the North Pole? Now I think it's safe to say that the flat earth model is already having a big problem trying to explain this observation. Now let's ask another simple question. What is the observed path of the daytime sun? And let's see if this will help us understand what the path of that nighttime sun is. To help us visualize this, I put an observer in the middle of a circle, and the edge of that circle would be the observed horizon. Next, I added the observed sunset that we saw in the video. Now, I think most everybody knows that the sun rises at the same angle to the horizon as it sets. So here is the observed sunrise to the east. Next, we need to know the location of the noon sun. Now, this is something that could be estimated, it could be measured, or you could even look up the data on a website such as timeanddate.com. And with just these three locations, we can get a very good idea of what the observed daytime sun path is. So what does this tell us about the path of the sun at night? We know that the sun is not going to change direction at the horizon. Which of course means that the sun continues on that same path below the observed surface of the earth as it returns to the east to rise again in the morning. Now the idea that the path of the sun at night is below the observed surface of the earth makes perfect sense on the globe. Because again, we know that the earth's surface beyond the horizon curves down. And we also know that all the celestial bodies in the universe completely surround the earth. But how would this work on a flat Earth? Flat Earthers claim that all the celestial bodies of the universe are above the surface of the Earth. And not only that, the surface beyond the horizon would be merged into the horizon line due to perspective. So we should never see any celestial body travel below the horizon. That would be impossible. 
So again, not only would the sun have to change direction after sunset to go around the North Pole, it would have to change direction again before sunrise to rise above the surface of the Earth. Well, to be honest, this makes absolutely no logical sense at all. Especially when it is so easy to understand how this works on a rotating Earth. Now in part two, I'm going to show you some time lapses of a sunset and sunrise from my present location in Bangkok. And these observations are even more impossible to explain on a flat Earth. 